see muslims defeated every uh, they conquered india bangladesh pakistan they conquered europe spain north africa no one couldn't stop them so because allah is the truth and allah is the greatest muslim did all this success this is the okay. proof okay 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 got your point i got your point uh genghis khan conquered a lot of places alexander the great conquered a lot of places uh julius caesar conquered a lot of places conquering something doesn't mean that it's the proof that god exists and my god exists that's not a proof no see uh, uh, islam is today the second most populous religion in the world and maybe by 2070 it will become the most po- populous religion in the world and they have given all kinds of rights to you keep it really short and sweet i'm not going to listen to your khutba um so again it's called argumentum ad populum you you're saying islam is the second most populous religion popular religion so even by your logic if we have to go by popularity christianity is more popular than islam so christianity must be real then Uh, Hinduism is also the third most popular religion so Hinduism must have some truth in that too so again popularity doesn't mean anything because before Christianity and Judaism there were other popular religion did that mean that they were right no so that's a second point second how i fire you made that you know just shot in the dark that Islam gave you rights no beheading sex slavery using women as sex objects that's not rights but but Islam gives men right Islam men can enjoy their sex life then uh, like uh, why you're thinking about women you think about men right you are a men right no you- no no shush <laughs> women are also our fellow human beings i'm not going to think just about me yes i would love if i was like you i would love to have a lot of sexual partners i will come to your town i will kill you and i will take your women as my sex slaves that is some amazing thing as a man right and then that's how i should be thinking that's what you're telling me that's how i should be thinking right no that's not how i think i would respect your wife or your sister or your mother just as much as i would respect any other human being because they're human beings they're not women or men it's not that issue it's a issue of humanity see your religion couldn't have that because it's a primitive 1400 year old religion so mom is a different thing let's not talk about mom but i am saying like women are inferior to men right because all women right. are okay all right well <laughs> very one sentence i'm going to keep just you know just one sentence and then i'm going to put you on mute because um women are inferior to men your 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 mother is inferior to to you is she inferior to you no i said like uh, let's not talk about mom Let's why not mom, let's right? not talk about why let's not talk about mom is your mom inferior to you uh, no i'm saying like mom is a different thing so i am saying it's why is mom a different thing so so hang on a sec so when a mom spurts out a baby that that intelligence increases uh, see i don't want to talk about mom but i am saying i general, don't want to talk about hey oi oi listen <laughs> you were kafir speak with me you afraid to speak with me and now i've i've given you an opportunity to speak i don't want to talk about my mom why somebody loves his mama too much huh you love your mama I'm too much i'm saying i am saying in general women are inferior to men right you can see this no, no. thing so mom so, so a mom so is your mom why a woman why are you talking on mom man i am saying right because i don't want to talk about i don't about care mom. about i don't because i fa- i found a massive flaw in your argument and that's why i'm talking about it and you know it You know this is embarrassing for you this is why I don't want to talk about my mom that's why you're saying that so tell me is your mom inferior to you man i'm saying in general men are inferior to men uh, sorry women are inferior to men right because by strength women is dependent on men women cannot stay alone uh, men needs to give assistance to women no woman has become a great scientist uh- All mm-hmm. right you obviously haven't heard a, a, a lot of great women scientists you obviously haven't heard of them let me let me name them you obviously haven't heard of marie curie now you would say oh comparatively but you know what these women are much more intellectually superior to you so your god's logic actually falls here look at these women hey rosalind franklin 
Jocelyn Bell. Marie Curie, obviously. All these scientists, all these female scientists. Who are these women? They're all they're all literally going to shit on you with their intelligence. So you said women are inferior, women can't survive in their own. No, there's so many women in the Western countries. I'm I'm assuming you live in Bangladesh. I listen to your uh, accent. Maybe in your country, because it's a third world country, that's why women can't survive on their own. Um, and no wonder, you know, your country is a very backward, primitive country. But proper countries, civilized countries, women can live on their own. Women do live on their own. Yeah, I am from Bangladesh. So I'm nah. seeing you. So so I'm seeing you. If women can live from their own, means they're inferior to men, right? Men can live on their own. Right. They're not so inferior. No, they're not inferior. Right. I just, I just, hey, I just showed you some amazing, brilliant women. I would love you to say that women are inferior to <laughs> to this woman. <laughs> Let me share the screen. Uh, I, I would love to see what happens. Say to this woman, say to this woman that, hey, women are inferior. This woman. <laughs> Bro. You're not going to survive if you say, if you speak this nonsense. Women are not inferior. As I said, they're women scientists, they're women fighters. Yes, uh, in certain cases, um, elite male would be better than uh, elite female in terms of performance. That's fine. I mean, so, so what? That doesn't make any difference. That doesn't mean that um, just because someone has less physical power or even intellectual power, I'm not saying they're intellectually inferior, but even if they did, that doesn't mean they should have less human rights. That doesn't mean that you should have four of them because, you know, they are inferior. Because if, if you go by that logic, then other animals are a lot stronger than men. What are you going to do? You're going to make a bear, a, a lion, your king or your president? No. Or there are some men. I might be more powerful than you are so does that mean i should have more rights than you do i'm clearly smarter than you so i should have more rights than you see prophet clearly told that men is the sole responsible for women but it is proof today right if men no. if the culture if, no. if it is proof today right, in bangladesh no. uh, men, bangladesh is a third world country it doesn't count see you can't take it like that in yes, countries I can. Like it's Syria, a third world country in, See, in Syria, Pakistan, Bangladesh, third world, country, all the third world country, third world country, man, they're all third man, world countries. Man, you can say like that because... Of course I can say like that. They're third world countries. They're third world <laughs> pathetic countries with no human rights. You, what are you, you talking you about? Can, you can say like that because men control those countries, but women doesn't control this. So Prophet has clearly told, right, that men are hey, the who's sole prime minister? Hey, who's your prime minister? Why say Hasina? Why... Why you are speaking on this? Why, why? Is she your mama too? Is she your mama as well? I can't even talk about her now. <laughs> no, leave my prime minister and my mom. So uh, <laughs> let's stop. <laughs> you know. So I should leave your mom? I should leave your prime minister? What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, <laughs> what are you? Did, did you, with what confidence? You know, you... You were you were writing in your private comments that I'm going to turn you into a Muslim. And then you come and then I ask you questions. And then you say, no, don't talk about my mama. Don't talk about my prime minister. Dude, can you do at least do your homework? You know, I think. Um, anyway, so. See, see, the things are getting proven what Prophet told. Pro Prophet yeah, no, told none of that. is like a field. You can plow as much as you want. But it is proof, right? <laughs> in Syria, in Syria, it proof. In, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh is also proof. So women can't control themselves. So women can't uh, protect themselves. So men needs to protect women. If there is no justice, if there is no law, if technology goes off, then obviously it will be law of the profit. Whatever profit told, it will be correct, right? The prophet, um, obviously, what did he say? He said Prophet Muhammad was right when he said that you should plow women. Plow the road. <laughs> Not my word. He's quoting Prophet Muhammad. It's actually kind of true. Um, he did say that, but there, there, there is a there's a Quranic verse actually. The women are like a tilt to you. Come unto them, however you want to come. Some people have interpreted the verses in like, okay, you can you know come from behind as well. 
<laughs> I mean, it's in the Quran, the holy book. <laughs> it, it tells you the sexual positions, the, what sexual positions are allowed in the Quran. Um, so I, I got I to gotta ask you. So to, did, was your mom, a, did your father plow your mother? <laughs> See, <laughs> you, <laughs> you talk on, on women in general. <laughs> <laughs> You're not answering the question. Did your father plow your mama? And is your mama inferior in, in strength? Obviously, she would be inferior in strength. But is she inferior in intellect? See, I, I told you, right? I don't want to speak on my mom. Okay? I want to speak, speak your mama. on someone's mom, right? So I want to speak about your mama. I want to speak about your mama. You, you. Tell yourself, I say, you are a human. So don't speak on someone's mom, right? I'm saying... No, like, I'm not. Hey, hey, I'm not I'm not abusing your mother. I am your mama. Your mama is a woman. Your, whatever you say about women, because my mama is a woman, woman too, right? So whatever you say that women are inferior. So I know that you're saying to me that my mother is inferior. So... I would not allow anyone to say that to me. So that's why I'm just being calm and composed. And I'm asking you, I'm trying to show you the mirror that when you make these kind of statements, women are inferior. Then I'm trying to tell you that what you're essentially saying, you're saying that your mother is inferior. So are you getting that part now? This is why I'm asking you, whatever you say about other women, you know, you, there's a saying in Pakistan, you know, don't you have mother and sister in your house? That you that you're saying such atrocious things about other people's mothers and sisters. Forget about other people's mothers and sisters. They're just human beings on their own. They don't have to be mothers. They don't have to be sisters. They're just women on their own, just like you on your own are a man. I mean, uh, it, it's very embarrassing for me to say that you know you and I have the same gender. But See, um, profit anyway, clearly told. Profit, profit. Your profit was not making a lot of sense. Your profit was saying something that he didn't know about. No, he clearly told mom is superior. Mom is the top most superior no. person. So there's a contradiction then. There's a co If you say a woman is inferior, uh, by the way, prophet never said that a mom is superior. She's a mother and son's relationship, mother and child's relationship. It's in that context. But overall, women are inferior. That mother has no rights when it comes to her husband. So don't bullshit me. You know, like, I mean, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old. No shit. Um, so I, I, would, I would say that, okay, thank you for converting me back to Islam. The confidence that you displayed. Um, keep saying that. And I, I please say that uh, on your Facebook profile, just start from now on, start your jihad against Sheikh Hasina Wajid. Because she's a woman, jihad, and I'm sure, no, she, and I'm sure, uh, 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 and I'm sure she would love to hear your thoughts. That women are inferior. Um, you should look up. Your prophet also said that countries led by women are not going to be successful. I know your country is not very successful, Bangladesh. I know it's a third world country, but there are some other countries like Finland, Sweden, and uh, New Zealand. So many others. Um, I can't even remember the names. They have female leaders. Australia had a female leader couple uh, last uh, 2008 to 2011, um, something like that. So, you know, women are just as intelligent as men. Your prophet got it wrong. Just admit it. Bye-bye. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.